Hello, my dear students. I welcome you all in this session. Lastly, we have completed with few phylums like Annelida, Platyhelminths, Escalminths. Today, we are going to start with phylum Arthropoda in chapter four, Animal Kingdom. Actually, this uh, this is the important identification. It is the largest phylum of Animalia group. and it includes so many animals mostly all the of about 80% of the animal world or we can say about 2/3 of all all the species they are arthropods so various insects butterflies bees wasps and many more uh the common feature that is they have organ system level of organization they are having bilateral symmetry they are triploblastic they are segmented but not metamerically segmented actually segments they are found from outside but internally if we see the animal's body internally they are not segmented and even they are coelomate and these features they are common in all so we are not considering it i have not underlined so this is not an important line but you should know it the important points are as follows first is the body of arthropoda is covered by chitinous exoskeleton means a shell is present uh, not exactly a shell sorry but a layer we can say a covering then body consist of head thorax and abdomen so three parts head thorax and abdomen then very special feature is they have jointed appendages that's why they got the name arthros means joint and poda means appendages so their appendages they are jointed then respiratory system for the first time various organs they are observed like gills if they are aquatic in habitat they have gills or book gills book lungs or tracheal system as per their uh, presence actually they are omnipresent they are found in every type of medium water air on land in soil as a parasite so they are actually omnipresent the uh, next feature is about circulatory system it is also of typical type it is open type we have discussed this point earlier so you can refer that in previous sessions then sensory organ like antenna eyes eyes uh, may be compound or simple then statocyst which is for uh, balancing the body or balancing organ uh, they are present or seen in advanced type for the first time so now along with the nervous system these sensory organs are also developed for excretion they have malpighian tubules few crustaceans they have green glands also If we talk about their reproduction they are mostly dioecious means male and female organism that is separate and sexual dimorphism is also observed by viewing as such we can identify that male or female that is a separate this is male and this is female like this the best example is cockroach then fertilization is usually internal and they are mostly oviparous the oviparous that is showing the few larval stages they are for, formed sometimes the development is direct also and uh, a few examples they will include firstly we'll discuss about economically important insects like honey bee like silkworm like lac insect their scientific names are also written apis for honey bee bombyx for silkworm and lacifer for lac insect so at one side common name at another side scientific name the pattern will be same to write and this is important the examples are important to remember another few examples they will include as a vector vector uh, here it is not a vector quantity of physics but this word is related with biological term so here vector means the medium through which the microorganisms they are spread like anopheles you must have heard about it 
anopheles it spreads malaria so malarial malarial in uh, organism which is plasmodium that is carried through anopheles mosquito so it is a ma mosquito uh, like culex as well as aedes they are also uh, spreading many more other diseases so these are included as a arthropoda which are acting as vector then another uh, example is of locust a uh, few days back you must have heard in the news that the locust from pakistan and all that particular areas afghanistan and pakistan they come towards the rajasthan and punjab areas and they uh, they eat actually on the crop fields they eat uh, the plants and uh, totally they destroy the crop that's why they are included as gregarious pest then last example is of living fossil that is king crab its scientific name is lamellus so in this way we can define the various features or characteristic features of arthropoda now here are some of the few examples or diagrams which are very common and uh, right from your childhood you identify them like uh, grasshopper or uh, just similar to the grasshopper it is locust right now we were talking about it it is a gregarious pest it is very much similar to the grasshopper then b diagram is for butterfly there are various species of butterfly c diagram relates to scorpion and lastly to prawn prawn is a typical example uh, i think uh, you are not familiar or you must have seen i don't know but uh, it it lives in uh, marine water jisko uh, hum hindi mein bolte hain jhinga and actually it is included in seafood so students uh, this is an important group which you have to remember their characteristic features they are many times asked in exam okay so next phylum that will be mollusk and uh, it is the second largest animal phylum after arthropoda uh, mollusk they are mostly found either on terrestrial land they have terrestrial habitat some are aquatic means some found in marine water that is sea water or some are found in fresh water they have organ system level of organization they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic coelomate this point now will come onwards in every phylum and it is not important point but you should know it now special features starts so i have underlined them so first feature is their body is covered by calcareous shell so shell is found here which is which is very hard and it is unsegmented with a distinct head muscular foot and a visceral hump lastly in arthropoda we have seen head thorax and abdomen in this way we have divided the body parts but here we are dividing in another pattern that is head muscular foot a single foot is present this you have to highlight and lastly a visceral hump now if we see the body uh, it has a soft body a spongy layer of skin forms a mantle over the visceral hump and this uh, due to their soft body for their protection the shell is present next point is regarding the space between the hump and a mantle is called a mantle cavity in which feather like gills they are present and gills are mainly for respiration for exchange of gas next point is regarding respiratory and excretory functions uh that is also followed by gills so gills actually mainly main purpose is respiration but excretory function is also followed then anterior head region has a sensory tentacles so it may be considered as a part of nervous system and a special sensory organ then next point is regarding the mouth it contains a file like rasping organ for feeding and this organ is known as radula it can be comparable to teeth of higher animals then these mollusk they are usually dioecious they are oviparous and they show indirect development means larval stages can be seen 
the examples are shown here like first example is showing pila it is just uh, having a large shell and b example is of octopus similarly many more examples are given in our book like snail then even uh, some of the varieties regarding octopus they are also included here are the few examples which are quoted like apple snail right now we have seen the scientific name is pila pearl oyster jisko hum cp bolte hain jiske andar se moti nikalta hai that is pinnacleda then cuttlefish jo octopus jaisa similar shape hai that is sepia then squid which is known as loligo devil fish jo humne abhi dekha octopus then sea hare aphysia then tusk shell which is known as dentalium and lastly chiton as chitoplura so these are examples examples yaad karne mein aapko bahut mushkil hone wali hai but repeat karoge to aap easily uh, you can remember everything now next phylum we are starting with echinodermata here these animals they have endoskeleton of calcareous ossicles and that's why they got the name echinodermata means spiny bodied so they are comparatively advanced type this is one of the advanced feature that is why they are placed above mollusk all of them they are mostly marine with organ system level of organization the adult echinoderm are radially symmetrical but larval stages are bilaterally symmetrical this point is very important to remember there is a difference the adult is radial symmetrical and larva are bilateral symmetrical their digestive system is complete with mouth on the lower ventral side and anus on the upper dorsal side then some of the important features they include the presence of water vascular system which helps in many functions like locomotion to capture food to transport food and respiration then excretory system is actually absent because it can be done with the help of water vascular system so separate system is absent then sexes they are separate reproduction is sexual fertilization is usually external and development is indirect with free swimming larva the examples i will tell you starfish sea urchin sea lily sea cucumber and brittle star i think starfish you must have seen and uh, the scientific names are asterias echinus antidon cucumeria and ophiura so these examples you have to remember again these pictures they show the few examples of echinodermata first one is for asterias that is starfish and b is for ophiura and ophiura will include brittle star now let us see how to write phylum arthropoda few points their habit habitat their special features their uh, uh, various functions regarding organ system then their example and uh, other examples are al also included but common name and scientific name which are included in our syllabus they are more important to learn and write here i have shown how to write about mollusk Uh, very few points are there and even you can write down the comparative point between arthropoda and mollusca this is the second largest phylum as we have discussed earlier uh, here also some special features are given their examples are given their reproductive mechanism is is given so all these points you have to variously describe with different different phylum groups now let us start with last phylum that is echinodermata here in picture it is more clear that how the dorsal side and ventral side it looks in dorsal side you are able to see the ossicles then the anus we have mentioned earlier so this ossicles they are exoskeleton part and anus it, it is the uh, another opening then in ventral view you can see the tube feet these are the, the are, these are also known as five arms then mouth is ventrally located 
in all these water vascular system you are able to observe so this is the special feature of starfish and it is very easily observed again let us discuss about their examples the scientific name of starfish is asterias of sea urchin is echinus sea lily antidon sea cucumber cucumeria and lastly brittle star of eura so in this way we have discussed about each and every phylum in detail how to write question wise the questions are also discussed here like describe the largest phylum of animalia or uh, write down short note on arthropoda it depends upon the marks then explain the body organ uh, organization of arthropoda like this but examples are compulsory to write whether they are asked or not similarly for other group also you are able to describe all the same points regarding the mollusk uh, right general characteristics features of uh, second largest phylum or phylum mollusca or what is mental cavity what are these organs their examples so in any way the same topic can be asked so first of all understand the topic Uh, remember all the points remember all the examples then only you are describe uh, you are able to describe similarly for echinodermata so uh, what is the most distinct feature of echinodermata or uh, tell me on which body part the first first time the exoskeleton that is observed so like this so in this way you can describe each and every phylum with their distinct features so special features are important to learn and write the general points are not considered if the special points are not written so emphasis on special points as well as examples okay students so today we are ending our topic here uh, we are ending our session here and uh, please do revise and take care of your health your family members then enjoy along with the studies okay bye bye students